The battlecruiser, or battle cruiser, was a type of capital ship of the first half of the 20th century. They were similar in displacement, armament and cost to battleships, but differed slightly in form and balance of attributes. Battle cruisers typically carried slightly thinner armor and a lighter main gun battery than contemporary battleships, installed on a longer hull with much higher engine power in order to attain faster speeds. The first battle cruisers were designed in the United Kingdom in the first decade of the century, as a development of the armored cruiser, at the same time as the dreadnought succeeded the pre-dreadnought battleship. The goal of the design was to outrun any ship with similar armament, and chase down any ship with lesser armament. They were intended to hunt down slower, older armored cruisers and destroy them with heavy gunfire while avoiding combat with the more powerful but slower battleships. However, as more and more battle cruisers were built, they were increasingly used alongside the better protected battleships. Battle cruisers served in the navies of the UK, Germany, the Ottoman Empire, Australia and Japan during World War I, most notably at the Battle of the Falkland Islands and in the several raids and skirmishes in the North Sea which culminated in a pitched fleet battle, the Battle of Jutland. British battle cruisers in particular suffered heavy losses at Jutland, where their crew's poor fire safety and ammunition handling practices left them vulnerable to catastrophic magazine explosions following hits to their main turrets from large caliber shells. This dismal showing led to a persistent general belief that battle cruisers were too thinly armored to function successfully. By the end of the war, capital ship design had developed with battleships becoming faster and battle cruisers becoming more heavily armored, blurring the distinction between a battle cruiser and a fast battleship. The Washington Naval Treaty, which limited capital ship construction from 1922 onwards, treated battleships and battle cruisers identically, and the new generation of battle cruisers planned was scrapped under the terms of the treaty. Improvements in armor design and propulsion created the 1930s fast battleship with the speed of a battlecruiser and armor of a battleship, making the battlecruiser in the traditional sense effectively an obsolete concept. Thus from the 1930s on, only the Royal Navy continued to use battlecruiser as a classification for the World War I-era capital ships that remained in the fleet. While Japan's battlecruisers remained in service, they had been significantly reconstructed and were re-rated as full-fledged fast battleships. Battle cruisers were put into action again during World War II, and only one survived to the end. There was also renewed interest in large cruiser killer type warships, but few were ever begun, as construction of battleships and battle cruisers was curtailed in favor of more needed convoy escorts, aircraft carriers, and cargo ships. In the post Cold War era, the Soviet Kirov class of large guided missile cruisers have also been termed battle cruisers. <laughs>